Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoorkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given set of equations with the help of Kramer's rule. Fine. These numbers are a bit tough. Okay? Tough in the sense like the calculations would be a little tedious compared to other questions. Please stay with me and stay focused. Okay. Otherwise, you could do mistakes while you do this. You know, so, please stay focused. Now, the given set of the given equations are just write down the given data as it is. Now, the given equations can be written as in a matrix form. In a matrix form, it can be written as something like this. Okay, if I multiply these two matrices and then I would be getting this matrix. Like I've just you know uh, written the given set of equations in a matrix form. That's it. Okay. Now, if you'll observe, like this, uh, x coefficient is three, so that's why I have three, and decide why there is four and five, two minus one eight, five minus two seven, and then into x y z eighteen thirteen. 20 fine in case if you are like not familiar with how this works now i'm going to take this first matrix as a second matrix as x and third matrix as d so basically i have a x equal to d this is my matrix equation fine this is what i need to solve with the help of famous rule and now first thing i'm going to find out is delta okay this delta is nothing but this delta is nothing but uh, this delta is nothing but debt a okay this delta is nothing but debt. you can just add this here this delta is nothing but debt A is equal to, uh, you could write it something like this, delta is equal to debt A is equal to this determinant which I am showing, this determinant which I have showed. You can write it like this for your better clarity instead of this step which I have put here. Okay, so this is basically debt A. Okay? So A I already know, A I already know, A is this, 3, 4, 5, 2, minus 1, 8, 5, minus 2, 7. So basically this is its determinant. That's it, nothing new, okay? nothing new here. Now, I'm going to expand this determinant. Uh, in case if you are not familiar how expanding a determinant works, uh, I'm, I'm going to explain this delta very slowly and carefully. So listen to me. In case you already know, you can increase the speed of this video. Fine. Now, now this determinant, I'm going to expand it along row one. Okay, I'm going to expand it along row one. This would be my row one. So three, four, five. These are the elements of my row one. So three into so if I'll expand this determinant, I'd get something like this. How I got it, I'll explain. See. So basically 3, 3 into this 3 into uh, minus 1, a debt of minus 1, 8, minus 2, and 7. How did I get this? What you can do is just strike off. I mean, you can uh, think that you're striking off the uh, row and column in which 3 is there. 3 is there in the first row and first column. Just cancel it off. What are you left out with? You're left out with minus 1, 8, and minus 2, and 7. So fine. That's why I got here 3 into minus 1, 8, minus 2, 7. Clear? Next. Next. Uh, in between, in the, for the center one, there would be a, mi a minus would come. Okay, please remember, for the center one, a minus would come while you're expanding a determinant. This minus is there. Next. Next. 4 into, 4 into, the second element is 4. Second element is 4. 4 into, uh, strike off the row and column in which 4 is there. Now see what you're getting. What you're getting is, 2857 2857 debt of 257. That's what I put it here. Next, next. Uh what I have is what I have is hmm, next the third element would be five. Five. Now strike off the row and column in which five is there. If you are understanding and explaining good, you don't have to strike it off actually in the exam like this. Five and two, two minus one, five minus two. Hope everything is clear up till now. Let's go ahead. Now, now, uh, now I'm going to expand this two by two determinant. In case you're not familiar, you can just click. See, this would be working like this would be working like this. Minus one into seven minus of minus two into eight. AD minus BC. Sort of. Let of ABCD is nothing but AD minus BC. So this would be two into seven minus five into eight, and then two into minus two minus five into minus one. So ultimately, I'd be getting this. Okay, this first determinant only I am explaining in detail. The next determinants are go a bit fast because there are three more determinants which we need to calculate. So minus one and two, one, seven is minus seven. That's why I have minus seven here. Minus nine would definitely come in the determinant. Uh, like uh, whenever you would like uh, do this, uh, this is there in the formula. Minus of minus two and two, eight is minus 16. Next, minus four is as it is two sevens are 14, five eights are 40, 14 minus 40. Next, two into minus two is minus four and minus four. Minus 5 into minus 1 would be minus 5. So hence I have minus 4 minus of minus 5. Okay, next. 
now be careful okay be careful and use brackets like this this will trust me guys i'm telling you use brackets like how i have shown this will reduce the chances of committing a mistake okay? because anywhere one small mistake in plus or minus your answer will be gone trust me again you would have to review the entire thing so please be careful and use use brackets like how i'm showing now minus of minus 16 would be plus 16 this would be 3 into minus 7 plus 16 and 14 minus 40 is minus 20 14 minus 40 is minus 26 See, remember guys out of 14 and 40 what is good of 40 right and 40 has minus sign so basically the final answer will have minus sign in case you do mistake because some of them could do mistake that's why I'm, I'm, I'm elaborating on this point next minus of minus 5 is going to be plus 5 so minus 4 plus 5 now minus 7 plus 16 in case you are getting confused you can uh, just rearrange it 16 minus 7 sounds familiar right it's 9 and then this also minus 4 plus 5 you can rearrange it it would be nothing but 5 minus 4 1 Hence, I have 3 into 9 plus uh, 104 plus 5. Minus into my, this minus 4 into minus 26 would give uh, 104. Okay. 3 nines are 27. 27 plus 104 plus 5. Ultimately, I'd get 136. Now, now, this is not equal to 0. This is not equal to 0. Delta is not equal to 0. Now, what does this mean? So, A is a non singular matrix. So, A is a non singular matrix non singular matrix because kramer's rule can only be applied for non singular like uh, only for applied two equations whenever like whose uh, the for if a is dead would be not zero that that's when you can apply uh, this kramer's rule fine right? now next so kramer's rule can be applied so uh, the given set of equations can be solved by kramer's rule the given Set of equations, set of equations can be solved. Equations can be solved, can be solved by Kramer's rule, by Kramer's rule. If this debt would have been zero, you cannot solve it using it. Things won't work. Fine. Now next, next. Next, I need to find three more determinants, delta 1, delta 2, and delta 3. How I'm going to do it? How I'm going to do it? Stay with me, guys. Uh, for delta 1, I'm going to replace the first column of delta, the first column of delta with the elements of, with the elements of D. Basically, this 18, 13, 20. The first column of delta, I'm going to replace it with 18, 13, 20. Instead of 3, 4, 3, 2, 5, there would be 18, 13, and 20. So, this determinant would come as it is, just that the first one would be replaced with 18, 13, and 20. 20 fine now the numbers are bigger as i mentioned stay with me guys stay focused there's a good chance that we could do mistakes in this uh, okay i saw my students like uh, it's a bit uh, the because of the numbers it becomes a bit little tedious as i mentioned now this would be nothing but 18 into debt of minus 1 8 minus 2 7 4 in, minus 4 into debt of 13 8 20 and 7 and plus 5 5 into debt of 13 minus 1 20 minus 2 okay now next this would be nothing but 18 into Minus 1 into 7 is minus 1, minus of minus 2 into 8 is minus 16, minus 4 into 13 7s are 91, minus 28 are 160, and then 13 into plus 5 into 13 into minus 2 is minus 26, minus of 20 into minus 1 is minus 20. So you see, everything is there. Next. This would be nothing but minus 7 plus 6, minus 7 plus 16, and 91 minus 160 is minus 69. Okay, be careful, guys. This is where some of you can do mistakes. Again, out of 91 and 160, which is bigger, 160 is bigger and it has a minus sign. It has a minus sign. So the final answer is going to have a minus. Sign. Please be careful. The final answer is going to have a minus sign. Now, minus 26 minus of minus 20 is going to be plus 20. Next, uh, minus 7 plus 16. Again, you can just interchange it. Like you have 16 minus 7 is nothing but 9. And then uh, this would be nothing but 276 minus 4 into minus 69. And then minus 26 plus 20 minus 26 plus 20 this would be nothing but minus 6 okay again uh, please be careful about this see out of 26 and 20 which is we got 26 there is minus sign uh, there is minus sign with 26 so that's why the final answer is going to be negative okay please be careful about it now 18 nines are 162 162 plus 276 minus 30 and then ultimately delta 1 comes out as 408 delta 1 comes out as 408 with tds right yeah i know but still <laughs> Next, delta 2. Now, how I'm going to get my delta 2? How I'm going to get my delta 2? You see this delta, right? The, in this delta, in this delta, 
replace the second column, replace the second column with the elements of D, basically 18, 13, 20. Okay. Uh, instead of second column, write 18, 13, 20. That's how I would get my delta 2. That's how I get my delta 2. Now again, let's get started with the basic expansion. Uh, 3 into that... Uh, 3, uh, 3 into debt of uh, 13, 8, 27 and 8, minus 18 into debt of 2, 8, 5, 7 and then plus 5 into debt of 2, 8. I'm sorry, 5 into debt of 2, 13, 5, 20. It's all there. Next start, 13, 7, 91 minus 20 into 8, 160, 91 minus 160 and then 2, 7, 14, 14 minus 5, 5 adds a 40 and then 2 into 20 is 40, 40 minus 5 into 35, 65. That's how you have everything here. And this would be 3 into minus... 69 minus 18 into minus 26 plus 5 into minus 25. Yeah, there are a lot of minus right here. Be careful. Again, again, I mentioned that just see which number has which number is greater and see its sign. Like out of 14 and 40, 40 is greater, it has minus sign. So basically, the answer is going to be negative. The final answer is going to be negative. Now, next, likewise, here also 65 is bigger out of 40 and 65, and it has minus sign. So basically, uh, I'd get negative. Okay. Next. 3 into minus, minus 69 and all this, if you'll do, you'll be getting this. You'll be getting this. Minus 207 plus 468 minus 125. Just simplify it. You would get 126. You would get, I'm sorry, 136. You would get 136. Okay. Next. Next. Now, now how, how do I get my delta 3? How do I get my delta 3? To get my delta 3, it's very simple. This delta is there, right? This delta is there, right? What you can do is what you can just replace the third column in delta with the elements of D. So 18, 13, 20, 18, 13 and 20 uh, here instead of the third column. So that's when I get my delta 3. That's when I get my delta 3. So my delta, is, delta 3 is going to be this. Again, get started with, with expanding the determinant. Now what I'd get here, what I'd get here is 3 into debt of minus 113 minus 20 minus 4 into debt of 2 13 5 20 plus 18 into debt of 2 minus 1 5 minus 2. Now next uh, again let's get started. Uh, minus 1 into 20 is minus 20 minus of minus 2 into 13 is minus 26. That's why I have minus 20 minus 4 minus 26 minus 4 into 2 2 20 is a 40 minus 5, 5 13 is a 65 plus 18 into minus 4 minus of minus 5. Okay. Minus 4, 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 and 5 into minus 1 is minus 5. So that's how I have this here. Now again, get started with the simplification. My, 3 into minus 20 plus 26, 40 minus 65 is minus 25. And then 18 into minus 4, minus of minus 5 is plus 5. So minus 4 plus 5. Now next, next 3 into, this is minus 20 plus 26. You can just do this, like interchange it. You would get 26 minus 20, which is nothing but 6. So this would be minus 4 into minus 25, which is nothing but uh, 100. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. It's 1. So 6 threes are 18. 18 plus 100 plus 18, which would give 136. Oh, at last, <clears throat> at last, we are done with finding out delta, delta 1, delta 2, and delta 3. Now, what we, what we need to do is find out x, y, z. It's very simple. Once you get everything right, it's very simple. Okay. By Kramer's rule, x is nothing but delta 1 by delta. Delta 1 is 408 and delta delta is 136. It would be 3 times. So that's why I got x as 3. It would be 1 times. Why is delta 2 by delta and this is delta 3 by delta? So hence, the solution is x equal to 3, y equal to 1 and z equal to 1. Okay. And thank you very much for staying with me until here. If you like this video solution, please hit the like button. And if this is the first time coming across to my channel, Please do subscribe to it and not just this question, not just this question. I have made many more questions from matrices. You can explore my channel. You will find out uh, other playlists. Uh, one playlist link, at least one playlist link, I'll put it in the description so that you can find out many more questions related to matrices uh, in my own channel. Fine. Uh, thank you very much. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rockhill in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher.